Some minutes after 4 a.m. this morning, my wife woke me up to inform me about our 13-month-old daughter's high temperature. The next thing was to rush her to the hospital. After spending over an hour in the hospital running tests and taking her medications, we returned home. Returning home, I knew that my morning had been interrupted from what it used to be. I needed to lie down and reset my mind. And as I was trying to do that, what I heard next to me was the video my brother-in-law was watching. It was just around 6 a.m. in the morning and my brother-in-law was busy watching comedy videos. I felt like slapping him. But in my culture, if you do that, nobody comes to your home again. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the one wrong thing every poor person does in the morning. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Minding your own business The one wrong thing almost every poor person I know does wrong is that they don't usually mind their own business. This is even worse because most people I know wake up every morning to another man's business. You can never be rich if you wake up every morning to prioritize other people's lives or businesses over yours. If there's anything you need to be extremely selfish about, that's your morning and I'll explain why. You see, when you wake up in the morning, everything in you is alive and you can spend the first hour to set the tone for the day. Unfortunately, your mind can hardly get the nourishment it needs to build a solid foundation for the day by consuming entertainment or news first thing in the morning. Instead, something like staying alone, meditation, thinking, reading or listening to motivational speeches may be the best thing to have a positive spirit you need to conquer your day. Unprepared Soldiers Life is a battle. You don't need anyone to tell you about that. What I think most of us need to be told is that you have to prepare for these battles every morning or else you will lose to your enemies. What are the battles I'm talking about? When I was a struggling entrepreneur, I knew that each day when I woke up, there was a big battle to be fought. One day, it could mean that I'll go and negotiate with a potential investor. Another day, it might be that I'll need to convince someone to work for my company without pay until we are profitable. The next day, it might be that I'll launch a new product. All these are very heavy loads and nobody could carry them except you are motivated to do so. And that's the reason why I had to wake up each morning to cool down my head, read a few pages in a motivational book or listen to motivational music. Today, I don't have as much heavy load to carry as I did a few years ago, yet I can't afford to attack my day with a weak spirit. Don't start your day with a weak spirit and don't start your day with other people's business. Life is tough and the battle is daily. You can't afford to attack your day unprepared for the ups and downs inside it. And that's why you don't want to start your day with entertainment. The Busy Employee There are a million things I hate about being an employee and one of them is the fact that you are just too busy doing your job. Most people don't think that is a bad thing. Some people are proud of being busy doing a job or their business. Well, I can be happy being busy as long as I can have an hour or two each day to nourish my mind. When I advise that people should spend their first hour in the day to mind their own business, Many people will think, well, I have to rush to my job. Yeah, that's not necessarily a bad thing. But as long as you don't have a few minutes in the morning to set your mind in the right motion and an hour in the day to learn and develop your mind, you'll be where you will be in the next 10 years, exactly where you are today. This is simple arithmetic, but most people don't understand it. Your mind is the only asset that matters, but it's like a tree. If you nourish it, your mind will grow and produce fruits. If you neglect it, your mind will bring you no fruit and you'll have no progress in life. To be successful in life, you have to spend the first half hour of your day for yourself to program your mind for a great day. If you're too busy to do this, you're too busy to grow or succeed. Aside from using your morning to set a good foundation for the day, every living thing should have at least half an hour every day to nourish their minds. You should have some time in the day to learn a new thing, read a book, or watch some educative videos. You can't just be too busy. You can't. If your job makes you so busy that you've got no time to nourish your mind, then that's slavery. The Sweet TV When I was a little boy, I read a few books that made me hate the TV. Don't get me wrong. There are some very educative programs on TV. The only problem I have with the TV is that it is very interesting. And so is the social media and every other entertainment box. 
The problem with the TV and social media being interesting is that they are not your business. When something is so interesting that people wake up in the morning to consume it, and such thing is either their business or helping their business, then that's the invitation to poverty. As a matter of principle, I make sure I derive the most pleasure from my work, and whenever something else seems to be super pleasant, I look for the door that leads me out of such things. That's the reason why I don't have a TV or use Facebook, Instagram, and so on. These things are not bad for people who have self-control, but for people like me who don't have self-control, TV and social media should be your suspects. How do you know whether you have self-control? Well, by the time your first duty in the morning is to check your social media profile, the post of photos, you start spending the first 30 minutes of your day watching a comedy video or a TV show, then you've lost your mind to the world around you and you need to retrace your feet. Let me summarize this video by reminding you of the most important advice from the richest man in Babylon, and that's pay yourself first. While this advice has a lot to do with your money, it is as well important for your time. When you wake up each day, remember this, pay yourself first. Spend the first half hour for yourself to nourish and develop your mind. Don't spend your first hour in the day to consume other people's products or creativity. Except such products, videos, or creativity helps you to become a better individual. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. If you like this channel, we're happy to announce to you that our team has launched three other interesting channels. One of our new channels is called Hunt TV, where we publish inspirational videos to inspire and encourage you as you go through the harsh journey of life. Our second channel is called Fame TV, where we share with you the interesting and inspiring stories and biographies of the successful people who have achieved greatness with their lives. Our third channel is called Money TV, which is a channel designed to use more dramatic video clips to teach you about money. Look at the description box to join our three new channels. We love you.